Hello everyone, this is Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com and today we're going to be looking at a problem that a lot of people have when they're new to iOS and that is using third-party apps to get ringtones on your iPhone or iPad. So third-party apps are a great way to find or create your own custom ringtones for iPhone, but unlike Android, it's a much more complicated process getting them on the phone than just hitting a button. Now in Android, you'll prob you're probably used to just apps allowing you to download a ringtone directly to the phone and then using it from there. But with iOS, you're going to have to do some iTunes syncing, so you're going to want to make sure you have whatever apps you want to use ready, and you're also going to want to make sure that your phone is hooked up to iTunes. So first, let's take a look at the apps. For my example, I'm going to be using this ringtone app here on the right. So for this one, I get to choose a track that I have. So I'm going to go down to uh, a, a soundtrack from one of my favorite games, and I'm going to play this. Now, I can either choose a ringtone or a text tone. I'm just going to use ringtone. It's What the difference is, is it's going to be a little bit longer. Uh, ringtone, it's going to let you use up to 30 seconds, whereas the text tone, it's only going to let you use about 15 so those are just general rules of thumb. So for this particular app, I can scrub around and figure out the area I want to use, and then I can play it back so I know if I want to use it. So I'm not going to play the whole thing just because of copyright, but uh, let's say I like this 30 seconds and I'm happy with it. I'm going to hit the save button, and now it's saved to my iTunes file sharing. This is the point where you're going to want to go over to iTunes. So on my laptop, I have my iPhone selected in iTunes, and I'm under apps right now. Now, most of the time when you're under apps, you just look at the stuff at the top, but for this, you're going to want to scroll down to file sharing. So I'm going to find the ringtone app I was using right here, and these are the different ringtones that I have made using this app. So if you find something you don't like, like I don't like this um, text document right here, you can just select it and hit the delete button on your keyboard. Um, but say I want to take threes as the bee's knees and put it in on my phone as one of my ringtones. So I'm going to hit save to, and now I get to go through the files on my laptop to go and put it in its spot. So you're going to want to go under your music and iTunes. From here, you're going to want to go to iTunes Media and automatically add to iTunes. You'll want to save the ringtone here. And what it's going to do, because it's a .m4r file, it's automatically going to save it as a ringtone. And then in your iTunes library, if you go under Tones, it will already show up right here, threes is the bee's knees, 30 seconds. It's that simple. Now, from this point, you're going to want to go back to the iPhone. And once you're back on the iPhone, you'll want to go to Tones and make sure you sync all of your tones, hit the sync button, and then the ringtone will be automatically added to your phone. It's that simple. Now, if you don't have Tones showing up, as we saw before when we looked at my list of ringtones, you'll want to go up to iTunes and Preferences, or if I'm Windows, you'll want to go under um, Settings, under File, I believe, and from here you can choose to show ringtones right there. It's that simple. So once again, I'm going to show you now a time lapse of this using a different app, just so you can see it from two perspectives, but the general idea is the same. So this time I used Ringtones number one as my app. I found a ringtone I liked under top uh, ringtones for 2011. Hit the send button. Make sure iTunes file sharing is the way I'm sending this. Now a lot of apps will give you different ways to send the ringtone. iTunes file sharing is what you want to make sure you have selected. Now I went to iTunes like I did before. Looked under my shared files. Found Ringtones number one as one of the apps the .m4r file, saved it to my automatically add to iTunes folder, and from here it automatically edited it as a ringtone. So again, each app is going to vary a bit, but the basic rules are the same. You find a ringtone you like, you'll either want to hit the share or the send button, it will share it with iTunes. So we hope you have enjoyed this video from How To Do Tech. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We do ask that if you have a question, you leave the device you're using as well as the operating system along with your question. How to Do Tech is on Google Plus and Facebook, so feel free to circle us and like us there. You can also ask us questions on those social media profiles. Click on the annotations now to go to any one of our videos or playlists. 
You can also click the links in the description to go to all of our playlists. Don't forget to like and subscribe.